feel like after this video, you guys might think like I'm super clever and witty, but what you're not seeing is me editing out like the minutes in between me cutting, just doing this. Brie. Brilliant. You better believe it. You brilliant. It's hard. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is JC, and tonight I wanted to invite you to charcuterie with me. I had a guest come over this past weekend and we did a big ass charcuterie board. We had some wine. We did a cute little photo shoot for Instagram. So make sure to check out my Instagram for the final result. Um, and then I was actually supposed to have another friend come over tonight to help me finish off all the ingredients, but I haven't been feeling that well. So I kind of uninvited them just to be safe, but I still have all of these ingredients that are just going to go bad. I already had to throw away a package of blueberries that got moldy. So I figured I'd invite you guys along for this very special night. So I got unnecessarily done up just for my subscribers. So thank you for joining me. It was funny when I actually posted this on my Instagram, I did like a, like a super lame caption pun. I think I put, um, let me, let me go get it. So I put as my caption, weekends in got me feeling mature and looking sharp like cheese puns. And my friends just commented so many better puns. Like, let me just shout out them real quick. Louise said, if looks could kill, looking Gouda, cheese puns are great. Chelsea said, looking like a little Beyonce over here. And then Marissa said, I was trying to think of a cute line to talk about how fine you were, but they're all too cheesy. Like, those are way better than some of mine. So, while I make this charcuterie board, I feel like I have to redeem myself and I'm just gonna challenge myself to come up with as many like bad food charcuterie jokes as I can. So if you've seen my tipsy clips, clink counter, let's go ahead and cue the, the bad joke food counter. We'll just do a food charcuterie jokes, charjo, charjo counter. Bing! And let's get started. All right, so rule number one with charcuterie, you have to have it with wine. Those are the rules. I don't make them, I just follow them. So we're gonna pop open some now. I feel like I can make like a million puns off wine alone, but those are kind of lame and boring. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna put in a cork in those for the rest of the time. Mmm, that's wine all right. So for cheese, let's see what I have here. Manchego here, Colby Jack cheese, Gouda, and Brie. So I always start with my cheeses for charcuterie because I like to build around them. So we have four cheeses here. Oh, we also have Laughing Cow, which was my nickname in high school. But you gotta have a mixture of cheeses. You gotta do hard cheeses and you gotta do soft cheeses. So I'm gonna cut up these, this Gouda here, cause it's looking so Gouda. Eh, that was weak, I can do better. So I'm cutting up some Manchego right now, which is one of my favorites, cause it's actually so salty that it pairs really well with like fruits or sweet things. Like that's one of my biggest arguments with, with, with little bitches who can't handle like pineapple on pizza. Their palate is not sophisticated enough to handle the, the sweet and the savory at the same time. That's what I like about charcuterie. You gotta combine it all. And I'm doing Brie. So my friend called me Brianse. Should I have called her Justin Brieber? <laughs> That's pretty brilliant. Mm. Pray Jesus, this smells delicious. I never know, are you supposed to eat the 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 rind of brie. I feel like I always do and nobody judges me, but now that I'm on camera, I'm gonna go ahead and cut it off so you guys can't judge me. Ooh, spicy. Okay, our cheese is all cut up. Can you brie leave it? So you wanna separate them out. Again, this is art. So just go with your heart, but make it, make it structured, you know? So now we're gonna go onto our cuts of meat, so I hope I don't butcher this section. So let me get this straight. 
We're gonna to wanna to put our meats by our cheeses and you could do this fancy or not fancy. You can fold it or not fold it. We're gonna go with the folds because we're being extra tonight. Next I have some prosciutto because we're always on the prosciutto happiness. I didn't make that one up. I saw it on a girl's Instagram caption and I thought it was really clever. But it gave me a Gouda laugh. Did I already use that one? I don't know. Then I'm gonna take some pepperoni and you know, it's not just another pizza meat. <laughs> so all of our meats and cheeses are down, which in hindsight is kind of weird because that's the stuff that needs to stay refrigerated and it's gonna stay out the longest, but that's okay because we're gonna eat this right away. So next we're gonna do our crackers. So I here have some wheat thins, which is what I wish my high school nickname was. Cheese Louise, everything's just looking so good so far. Also, I wanted to note, I'm trying to stick to puns of the actual cheeses that I have. Like, yeah, I could be like, like you, you cheddar believe it, but I don't have cheddar, that's cheating. I gotta, I gotta come up with puns of what I have. Manchego's hard. Manchego's hard. <laughs> that could work, that could work. I like it, I like it. I'll give myself a half point. Half point, future JC. Sun-dried tomato flavor, it's so good. I love sun-dried tomatoes. I love it all the way from my head to my toes. Nice. Then I have these peppercorn poppy water crisp crackers. I think I'm doing a good job so far. Some of my jokes have crackered me up. Now when making charcuterie boards, don't be afraid to adjust as you go. Because as you add more and more, you'll realize you need to either condense or spread out. So improvise during the process. So next I have some berries here. As I mentioned, I already had to throw out some of my blueberries because they were getting all moldy, but this was from the good pack. So that makes me berry happy. <laughs> Are you guys sick of me yet? Too bad. Now berries are really important to add some dimension to the flavors. This is me being serious, by the way. You gotta have some sweet with the savory, so that way it gives all the cool combinations. So fruit is a must. Ah, I forgot my little, my little glasses here. We gotta build around these. I like to fill these with a type of sauce, usually a jam, because again, the sweetness is very important. So now we have our berries. I rinsed off, rinsed off, rinsed off some strawberries. So we're gonna cut these up. Let's see, strawberry, strawberry. It's getting prettier right before my berry eyes. It's kind of, kind of weak, but actually cut that one out, future JC. I don't like that one. Okay. We're gonna cut this here, cut this here, put this here, take a little wine break, neep, 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 neep. Mmm, rosé all day, baby. Just kidding, that's a Syrah. Okay, Syrah, Syrah. I should have made a TikTok with the sound that goes, Schwale point yon blanc, not in garçon. On les jantons, les jantons, on moi, blah, blah, blah. Next, I'm gonna add some almonds. So I need a break from all these bad puns. They're driving me nuts. This will add some crunchiness and be a little palate cleanser in between cheesus. Oh, in case of emergency, pray to cheesus. I didn't make that one up though, so don't count it, future JC. You got it, dude. Thank you. Just gonna add a little bit of sun-dried tomatoes because I am a fiend for these. I'm not even gonna make a pun about it, I just love them. Now let me put some jelly fruit spread into these, again for juxtaposition of flavors. This one is hot pepper peach. Too bad it wasn't pear. I would have had some perfect puns if it was pear. They would have paired nicely with some of my other jokes, but I promised you guys I would only do jokes based off of the food that we have. So I'm gonna practice what I peach. Although you guys would have appreciated the other ones. <laughs> All right, that's enough. All right, so here I have strawberries and raspberries. I already did like berries and... Ah! It's moldy. All right, plan B, we got some pesto. Pesto will pair well with a lot of this stuff. Three, two, one, pesto! <laughs> I hate my life. I always do popcorn, because um, that's just another easy, crunchy thing. So I hope 
um, these are still fresh and I hope that my jokes aren't stale. This is my pickled popcorn from my meal prep video. Make sure to go watch that. So good, it tastes just like pickles. Let's see, let's see, popcorn, popcorn. Um, it's amazing. It's Spanish. It's a good Spanish joke. It's a corny Spanish joke, but it's a joke nonetheless. I don't know, I'm kind of a big dill. That's too easy. I don't know, that joke makes me want to like pickle myself. <laughs> Actually, that's bad. If I say if I want to pickle myself, that sounds like a little sexual. That's what she said. That's what cheese said. Guys, that was funny. That was, I think we're all done. Um, give me two seconds to like clean up and make it look pretty and I will show you guys the final result because she looking good. She looking good. Oh, I turned you off. And here is our finished charcuterie board. I actually have it propped up on a book so you guys could see it better because that showbiz baby. But as you can see, it turns out nice and technicolor and pretty. We got our good blend of savory, sweet, crunchy, and soft. I normally like to put like flowers on this as just like an extra little pop, but I didn't have those. And again, it's just me enjoying this. This is a lot for just me but I'll still enjoy it. This is off topic, but I'm gonna tell you guys anyway. I've been in a Christmas mood, something fierce, and it's the beginning of July. So I think I'm gonna, I'm gonna watch a Christmas movie and enjoy my charcuterie. But thank you for joining me along this ride. Um, you know, not very many people can master the art of charcuterie. So I'm glad if you were here to pick up some tips or just watch me make bad puns. I still feel like I could have done better. Like I could have like researched some or something. I did my best, you know? So I'm sorry if some of these jokes were just a little bit too cheesy, but I appreciate you guys coming along for the ride and I thank you very much. Okay, toodles! Hi guys, it's future JC. Not, not like future future JC. Cause that's me. But like mid future JC. So I'm a little bit wine tipsy and I have decided on, I can't, I can't flip on this. Okay, I can't flip on this, but I've decided on Christmas Inheritance on Netflix as my Christmas movie. Yeah, dude, cause you live streamed it on Twitter. But as I'm sitting here eating my, my cheese board on the couch, like the 12 year old that I am, I've come up with so many other like good puns that I wish I would have I wish I would have said like like pepperoni um I pepperoni have eyes for you or like blueberry I was talking about how sad I was that I had to throw away a package of blueberries because they got moldy like I was feeling blue how'd I miss that one or like pesto the pesto's yet to come doy that's easy or like like that's just that's just me in a nutshell. <laughs> It's an almond. <laughs> I'm sorry if I've disappointed you all.